What do you think the timeline for ASL 3 is where several of the triggers are fired? And what do you think the timeline is for ASL 4? Yeah, so that is hotly debated within the company. Um, uh, we are working actively to prepare ASL 3 uh, security uh, security measures as well as ASL 3 deployment measures. Um, I'm not going to go into detail, but we've made we've made a lot of progress on both, and you know we're we're prepared to be, I think, ready quite soon. Uh, I would I would not be surprised I would not be surprised at all if we hit ASL three uh, next year. There was some concern that we we might even hit it uh, 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 this year. That's still that's still possible. That could still happen. It's like very hard to say, but like I would be very very surprised if it was like 2030. Uh, I think it's much sooner than that. So there's a protocols for detecting it, the if then, and then there's protocols for how to respond to it. Yes. How difficult is the second, the latter? The, yeah, I think for ASL3, it's primarily about security um, and, and about, you know, filters on the model relating to a very narrow set of areas when we deploy the model. Because at ASL3, the model isn't autonomous yet. Um, uh, and, and so you don't have to worry about, you know, kind of the model itself behaving in a bad way, even when it's deployed internally. So I think the ASL three measures are, are, I won't say straightforward. They're, 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 they're rigorous, but they're easier to reason about. I think once we get to ASL four, um, we start to have worries about the models being smart enough that they might sandbag tests. They might not tell the truth about tests. Um, we had some results came out about like sleeper agents, and there was a more recent paper about, you know, can can the models uh, uh, mislead attempts to, you know, sand sandbag their own abilities, right? Show them, you know, uh, 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 present themselves as being less capable than they are. And so I think with ASL4, there's going to be an important component of using other things than just interacting with the models. For example, interpretability or hidden chains of thought. Uh, where you have to look inside the model and verify via some other mechanism that that is not you know is not as easily corrupted as what the model says uh, that that you know that 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 the model indeed has some property. Uh, so we're still working on ASL four. One of the properties of the RSP is that we we don't specify ASL four until we've hit ASL three, yeah. be and and I think that's proven to be a wise decision because even with ASL three. It again, it's hard to know this stuff in detail, and and it, it it we want to take as much time as we can possibly take to get these things right. So for ASL three, the bad actor will be the humans. Each humans, year. yes. And so there's a little bit more um, for ASL four. It's both, I think. It's both. both, and so deception, and that's where mechanistic interpretability comes into play, and uh, hopefully the techniques used for that are not made accessible to the model. Yeah, I mean, uh, of course, you can hook up the mechanistic interpretability to the model itself, um, but then you've then you then you then you've kind of lost it as a reliable indicator of uh, of, uh, of 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 the model state. There are a bunch of exotic ways you can think of that it might also not be reliable. Like if the you know model gets smart enough that it can like you know jump computers and like read the code where you're like looking at its internal state. We've thought about some of those. I think they're exotic enough. There are ways to render them unlikely, but yeah, generally. You want to you want to preserve mechanistic interpretability as a kind of verification set or test set that's separate from the training process of the model. See, I think uh, as these models become better and better, conversation and become smarter, social engineer becomes a threat too because they, they oh yeah they can start being very convincing to the engineers inside companies. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's actually like you know we've we've seen lots of examples of demagoguery in our life from humans, and and you know there's a concern that models could do that could do that as well.